Down the Orange Juice by Luka Jankovic. Once upon a time, there was a caramel princess. She was bored, so she decided to get married. But my husband must be clever and amusing, she said. I will test each tutor as he comes, said the caramel princess. So the news was given out by the royal cabbage to the whole country. Only the cleverest and most amusing people need to apply, said the royal cabbage. Far out in the sugar country, there lived an old cake count. He had two clever lollipop sons, who were the cleverest men for miles around. The cake count also had a third son. Nobody thought he was clever, and they all called him Dan the Orange Juice. The two clever lollipop sons decided to become suitors for the caramel prince. The first clever lollipop son read lots of ice cream books in Latin. And learned them backwards too. He also read all the local ice cream papers for the past three years. The second clever son read lots of books on law and learned some jokes as well. They dressed up in their finest clothes. They even oiled their mouths to make them speak more smoothly. The old cake count gave them splendid chocolate horses to ride and gifts to take with them. Everybody came to watch them go. I want to go too. Cried down the orange juice. All of a sudden, I feel like getting married. I want to marry the caramel princess. Nonsense! Said the count. You aren't clever enough. I won't give you a caramel horse or gifts to take. Never mind. Laughed down the orange juice. I shall go by caramel goat. And off he trotted, singing a song. He soon met his clever lollipop brother on the road. Here I am, called Dan. And look what I found for the caramel princess! And look what I found for the caramel princess! He showed them a dead chocolate crow, a pineapple clog, and a pocket full of rotten chocolate. You are not clever or amusing, sneered the clever sons and rode on ahead. They arrived at the palace an hour before Dan got there. The caramel princess saw her many suitors in the palace hall. In the corner by a hot stove was the cabbage carrot. He wrote down every word the suitor said. But the princess was bored by them. No good, she said every time. Out! Yeah. Now it was the turn for the first clever son. But he was so frightened he forgot every word of Latin. Even backwards. All he could say was, it is hot in here. No good, said the princess. Out! The second clever son was just as frightened. He forgot all about law and all these jokes. It is very hot in here, he said. And the cabbage wrote that down. No good, said the princess. Elf! Then down the orange juice rode in on his bully goat. The princess smiled. I like that nice hot stove, said Dan. I'll roast a royal chicken in it just for you. And he pulled out the dead chocolate crow. The princess laughed. But we have no chocolate cooking pots. Here's just the thing, said Dan, and he showed her the old pineapple clog. And here is a little gravy, he said, opening his pocket full of rotten chocolate. The princess laughed out loud. Do you know that every word is being written down by my count? She said she wanted to see if she could frighten him. But Dan was not frightened at all. If he is so important, then he should have the best. He said and he threw the rotten chocolate at the royal cabbage. Well done, cried the princess. You are clever and amusing. You passed the test and I shall marry you. So Dan the Orange Juice married the caramel princess and he soon became Dan the Orange King. And the princess was never bored again. The end.